And what you see here is you see some spikes. Um, you'll see a spike in temperature and another spike in relative humidity. And what these are is uh, myself handling the logger. Okay. So some things you can do with your with your plot once you um, display it like this. There's some uh, some interesting features in the software. One is the ability to zoom in on a specific area of the data. And we do that by following my mouse up to the top. We click on the magnifying glass tool or the zoom tool. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to zoom in on a specific area of the data for a, a finer granularity. So I'm interested in seeing what happened during this area right here. So we're going to draw a box around that data and then we're going to click inside of that box and we just zoomed into that particular uh, bit of data to find out exactly what's going on. We see a lot of activity here and it appears that, I'm going to go back to my arrow tool just for the, uh, just to kind of sh uh, give me a pointer we can see that the this area of activity is between approximately 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. on the 21st of August. So what that's telling me is this I, I am assuming that this is the activity during well this is the business the business day. So the activity here is is a reflection of the activity of the HVAC system because that's the most active part of the day for our HVAC. We, uh, we have a programmable thermostat here, so that is trying to maintain a specific temperature and relative humidity during the day. Um, and with the goings and comings and people's activity, obviously it's cycling more than it would uh, during the night. And what we can do now is we can scroll, we can scroll back or forth along this uh, zoomed in view to kind of quantify that. So what we do with that is we click on the hand tool right here and we click down on the left mouse button hold it and drag forward so what we're doing is we're kind of going forward in time as you can see we're now we're looking at six seven eight o'clock at night and our our iterations or our uh, fluctuations in temperature and relative humidity greatly diminish after everyone leaves which kind of makes sense and we can go all the way through the data file this way all the way to the end. Now if we want to go back to the original plot we would go up to this right here and this is um, it says show graph at full scale it's really a restore back to the original plot so we click on that and we're back to the original plot. Some other features of this software is uh, the ability to filter data and create new plots based on those filters. The way you would do that is you would click on the arrow tool and then you would select a plot to filter. So I, what I would like to know is I would like to know what's my average temperature over the deployment or perhaps even better let's let's try to do uh, my average temperature per day because we've got a couple of days worth of data here. So let's click on temperature that highlights all of the data in this plot for temperature. You'll see that all of this data here is selected and you can see that the the XY graph plot uh, representing temperature is also selected. So now we go to edit and we say filter series and here is where we can apply the filter. We, the, the available filters are maximum, minimum, or average. So for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to click on average temperature per day. And here you can select, you can put in anything you want. You could say, if you were going to do by week, you could say every seven days. If you're going to do it by month, you'd say that every 31 days. You can also do it by hour, by minute, by second, if you'd like to and then you can give it a unique name because what it's going to do is it's going to create a new plot on this XY graph. For the purposes of this exercise, average temperature, actually what we want to call it is average daily. So let's do that.
if we click on OK, we've just created a new plot based on average daily temperature. And you will see up here in the tabular format that what it does is it creates one entry per day. Scroll down through, you'll see it. You'll just see one entry per day. It doesn't disturb the existing data at all. Again, because um, we only had three days worth of data, there's really only three data points. So what you'll see is three, just three lines or three pieces of data here. And we can uh, we can see right here this dotted line was created here based on those three data points. And you can do, you, again, you can filter these um, as you saw, min, max, average, uh, over any time period you like. Now, one of the other things you can do is you can change your scaling for any one of these axes to get better granularity. For example, if we wanted to look at relative humidity only between 40 and 60 percent, because right here it's auto scaled from approximately 35 percent up to about 85 percent. And that's based on this spike here from when I put my hand on the logger when it was logging. So if we select this, we can see these little dots appear. We select this axis and we double click on it we get an access properties box and we can put in we can change the name we can change the color we can show grid lines which will give us uh, horizontal grid, li grid lines we can move it to from the right to the left if we want we can again there's auto uh, calculate tick marks we can change the tick marks or the graduations for this purpose of this exercise we want to change the min and max so let's change it to, uh, what did I say, 50% to 80%. Let's try that. So the minimum is going to be 50. And the maximum will be 80. Okay. And if we apply that and say done, you'll see that it actually shifted it way down there because it's still trying to display that simply do this and slide it up and that gives us a little more uh, a little more resolution of the of the graph and it also separates the temperature from the relative humidity uh, measurements so it gives you a little better way to view it okay um, and it's done similarly for the uh, temperature and you can also do it for time you can change the the, the granularity of the time you can add custom tick marks etc So those are some of the features um, in the readout pane um, that allow you to customize your data. Once you create um, a new plot like this, like we just, again, we didn't modify the data. We can't do that in the software. But what we can do is we can apply filters to create new plots. And we can change the look of the data. So once we do that, if we're happy with how this looks, we can actually save this. As, and so we can recall this configuration again rather than have to go through it every time we open up um, this particular hobo file. That's the extension that we use for this USB based logger. We can save it as what we call at onset a project file or a hoboware project file. And what that does is it maintains the configuration and the formatting that we just um, created. So the way we would do that is we would say file and we would say save project or control shift s so if we select that and again it asks where we're going to save it we can just put it right on the desktop and it defaults to the name of the deployment again it's, we're not changing the data at all but what we're doing is we're maintaining the formatting that we just uh, put in the scaling and the filter